Hey there everybody, Gershard here with Gershard Games again. Uh, today we're going to take a quick look at a freelancer that somebody has been kind enough to loan me to do a quick video on. Which, uh, that's the constellation right there. For those of you that haven't already seen it, I do have a constellation video. I'll try to remember to put a, a link of that in the description for you. Uh, over here, this is the deluxe hangar too. I kind of look around it a little bit more in the uh, constellation video. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out that video. Alright, here we have the uh, Freelancer, which is a nice little ship. It's kind of the smaller version of the Constellation. It's a two-man ship. Um, as you can tell, significantly smaller than the Constellation is, but still, it's a very nice ship. It's been getting a lot of hate on the forums recently, and I just I really don't agree with that because, I mean, it's a nice ship. It's not as small as everybody makes it sound like to be. It's just, it's a, it's a good-looking ship. Um, Alright, that's the outside. Let's jump inside. The inside's really cool, too. It's a, it's a lot cooler than people are giving it credit for. I'm, uh, I'm not sure why there's so much rage. Alright. Here we have the cargo area, or one of the cargo areas, I guess I should say. And then you've got this fancy door. It opens up another cargo area. Look at that. And then in the back, you've got your cargo gate. Hydraulics. You can get out, get back in. It's a little harder to get in, but you can. Oh, you can definitely get out and get in. Then up here, you've got the, like the living quarters area. Um, not really sure what everything does yet. You know, lots of lots of fancy, lots of consoles in this for such a small ship. It's got a lot of consoles, a lot of things going on. Um, I'm not really sure, like, <laughs> why there's so many consoles in this little bitty ship, but. Uh, yeah, I thought it was only for two, but there's clearly four beds in here. There's two on that side, and there's two on that side. So maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna upgrade it and just kind of drop that on us later. Uh, here's the bathroom. You can't really get in there yet or anything. Um, I guess if you wanted to, you could poop while you're taking a shower. I mean, it's all it's all one little room. Um, here we have uh, another little secret cargo area. I can't open it. Uh, that's actually just for the exit. It just looks like I can use it, uh, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Um, up here then, like we've got, like look how big this is, everybody says how small it is and how tiny it is, I think this is a pretty big ship, especially how much cheaper it is than the Constellation. It's not quite as roomy, but there's definitely some room in here. And there's four seats up here, again, so why it's classified as a two-man ship, I'm not sure, I have a feeling that's going to change. Um, I do, however, not like the the front windows you can't really see out and this has been brought to rsi's attention that there's a lot of space blocked right there by the bars they said that they they didn't confirm it but they're probably going to allow you to uh to upgrade your uh window so it's more of like a windshield instead of just these little little portholes um here we've got the console moving around uh, you can't you can't change the side so this is clearly the co-pilot seat uh, the driver's seat, as I show you in a second, will allow you to change, uh, move around, just like on the uh, Constellation in the pilot seat. Which is another thing. Constellation's got all those seats, and you can only use one. You can use two seats in this one right now, so it's it's already got that going for it. Here we go. Let's look down. See, you can, you know, left, right, forward, back, strafe. You can do all that fun stuff in here. Let's jump out to the outside. Get a little bit of a a look around this ship here. Oh, there we go. There's my movable camera. Another another quick look at the outside. It's a nice little ship. Like it's man. There's nothing wrong with this ship. People that rage about this ship, I just I don't understand. I almost got one of these, but then I sprung for the constellation. I'm glad I did because it's a lot larger. Here we've got that back turret that's mentioned. There's a seat in there that's operated by uh, by a person. It's class four. Um, and then back here, you know, look at all the cargo space. It's just, there's massive amounts of cargo space. Like, why people aren't happy with it, I don't know. And then that little secret compartment I was telling you about. Maybe this is where, uh, where your questionable cargo is going to go. If you look right there, there's the doors. Now, it, it doesn't look like it connects right now, because it looks like there's a layer there. But, I mean, that's definitely going to be a secret cargo area. If that's not, I don't know what secret cargo is. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the other inner workings down there. But I mean, it's a nice little ship. I mean, why people why people aren't happy with it, I don't know. But uh, there you go. There's your look at the Freelancer. 
Thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll include the link to the constellation in the uh, in the description. Grishard here with Grishard Games. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.